Hi, I'm Jay Leonard J, and today we have two heavyweight pedals on the bench. I got the Slide Rig Compact Deluxe, and I got the Cali 76 Compact Deluxe by Origin Effects. Well, if you ever want to get like a producer really excited about something, all you really have to do is like name drop 1176. That's like, you know, for the last 50 years has been like ubiquitous for just good tone, like the ultimate solution to any problem you have in the studio. You want your like, you know, your, your, your lead vocals to get a little bit more fat, put a little 1176 on it. Yeah, you want your guitars to kind of punch out a little bit more in the mix, little 1176. Maybe like your wife left you and took the kids. Well, you know, put a little 1176 on that. That problem will go just right away. Ugh, probably not that one. Obviously, that tone is something we've heard our whole life. There's a really unique sound to that FET style compression, but that has been a big rack unit and no one's really been able to put it on their pedal board until now, well, a couple years ago where they released the original Cali 76, the Origin Effects guys did it. And uh, now they've stepped up their game even more and they have actually managed to get their FET 1176 style pedals in these tiny little boxes. But I'll tell you, these are some hefty boxes, but they're small. And now you have no excuse to put one of these things in your pedal board. And if you do, you will be super, super happy. So pretty much their flagship pedals come in two flavors. You got the slide rig, which is a nice straightforward way to do it. And the Cali 76, which is kind of just one nice good old 1176 ready to go. How many times am I going to say 1176 in this review? What we're going to do today is they look fairly similar and they're about the same weight and they sound really good. So I'm going to try to help you guys figure out which of these two pedals would probably work the best for your rig. And I'm going to be doing it with a Fender Telecaster. It's a custom shop with the Virgil Arlo pickups and string joy strings. And I'm plugging it into a Benson Chimera, Chimera, it's Chimera, 212 amplifier. Uh, and I have some sinusoid cables going on over there. So let's fire these suckers up and just start playing. All right, so a really good place for us to start off with uh, would be the Cali 76 Compact Deluxe, pretty much because it is laid out pretty much like that classic compressor that we all love, but can never fit in our briefcase. Uh, we have the TAC, the release ratio in and out. You've seen it all before. The one thing they added here was the dry knob. And what that does is it just kind of brings a little bit of your clean tone for all you people that want that LA parallel compression thing. Well, you can do it with this pedal too. So very, very fancy. Let's just start off with just a neutral starting point. I'll put everything pretty much up um, and turn the ratio down low. Uh, this is my clean tone. Beautiful. All right, let's turn on the Cali 76. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to have a really slow attack and a really uh, quick release, well, relatively quick release, low ratio. And by having a, a slow attack, what happens is the punch of my, my attack comes out really clear and then the release comes out quick. So what happens is it gets a nice kind of chop to get me to the next note. It leads to a really percussive tone. If you're in a big fat band and you just want to, to all your attacks to come through really clearly, that will definitely do it for you. Check out how this sounds. I think it sounds awesome. That's 
just killer, killer. If you're a, a lead player, that the, all those notes will come out so wonderfully when you're doing your solo. It's not gonna sound like anemic. <laughs> Here's it without it. Here's it with. You see that how it just everything spanks out and you hear the wood? Oh, I love it. Uh, the other setting I like to do is almost the opposite of this one where I have a nice uh, quicker attack and a slower release. The quicker attack means it will clamp down on my attack quicker so it'll smooth out the beginning of my note. And by having a longer release, it'll kind of actually give me a smoother transition from note to note, just making my overall tune kind of have like this nice sheen to it, just lovely. A little bit more ratio to make it seem a little bit more compressed. And uh, the last thing I like to do with a, a pedal like this, especially if I'm gonna have it at the very end of my chain, is use it almost like a limiter, just to get rid of just the very peaks, just to keep everything in control so my gain staging is nice and even, and I, I don't kind of annoy everybody. Uh, what I do is I'll go for a slower attack, uh, an, an average release, let's just go around here. I'll put the ratio up much higher, add a little bit of my clean tone, go off the input, and turn up my output, and you just have a very nice overall general sound that everyone's just gonna love. Well, the slide rig is a lot more straightforward uh, than the Cali 76. So if all those knobs kind of uh, intimidate you a little bit, well, this might be the way to go for you because it is tuned so well. It's just almost like a set and forget thing, but a set and forget pedal with a bunch of really crazy, easy to dial in tones. I'll show you what we have here. We have an in knob, out. This is kind of like your compression level, just like an 1176, how much compression you're gonna add. Uh, and then here, you have three different types of compressors. This first one here is a really well-tuned version of their Cali 76. They got uh, the, uh, their kind of ideal overall great setting kind of pedal. Uh, here is a clean, just your clean tone. And last but not least, this is two 1176 pedals going right into each other. So it is just absolute sustain, like goodness and oof, lovely princess Christmas uh, treat. So lots of great sounds to have because you could actually blend in these three different types of compression sounds to come up with something really unique for yourself. But let's start off just with the single compressors. Let's start with the clean tone first, actually. Here's it on. Oh, that sounds great. Thank you. Very good, you can even use the funk thing with it too.
Oh, that is lovely. Uh, let's go move over uh, to the two sustain goodness Christmas stuff over here. Let's see. That's just gonna keep going. That is a lot of compression. Another great asset of having that double compression thing is uh, when you're playing with slide. Uh, slide players, they always want more sustain, they want it to last long, but they don't wanna pile in the overdrive, cause that, you know, who wants to do that? Let's get a nice, clean, pure, long sustain, and that really is, let's turn that on. Fun really comes when you start blending things together. Like you could add all of that nice, beautiful sustain and then put a little bit of your clean tone in there to get your attack back. And so you pretty much just have that nice punch, but then that bloom in the end just to keep the notes holding on for a little bit. Very, very useful. <laughs> Well, that's it, that's the demo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please keep commenting, please keep subscribing and the notifications and watching. I really appreciate all the people that make a point of watching the videos. It's, it's really, really fantastic. And to see the same names in the comments, man, it makes me feel like such a huge deal. And my question for all my subscribers out there today is, well, you heard the slide rig, you heard the Cali 76, which is the one that you can see yourself implementing in your rig and why would you pick that pedal over the other? Uh, that being said, I'll see you guys all soon. Take care and goodbye.